this is a problem related to instantaneous rate of change. Okay. For what value of x is the instantaneous rate of change equal to 0 in the function y equals to x square minus 3? Okay. To give you some idea, we can actually sketch this function, right? And then we'll have fairly good idea about the answer. Is this this is a coordinate system and if you want to sketch this function x square minus 3 there's a parabola which is shifted 3 units down right so this could be like this kind of right, right. so and where this is minus 3 correct so for what value of x is the instantaneous rate of change equal to 0 so for a parabola it is always a vertex and we see the vertex is here, the turning point, right? So here if I draw a slope, it will be a horizontal line. So that will give me a zero instantaneous rate of change. Okay, so we're looking for, we have that as an answer. But let's, this was a graphical solution to the same problem, okay? Now, let's try to give algebraic solution to this. Now, algebraically, if you want to find instantaneous rate of change for a particular function, then what we can assume is that we can we should consider two points and let the two points be let's say one at point a and the other one as a plus h right where h is a very very small quantity we say where let me write for where h is approaching kind of zero okay so it's very close to the point a okay so and let's assume that point a is the point where the instantaneous rate of change is zero Okay, so we'll equate that like 0 equals to f of value of function at a plus h minus value of function at a divided by a plus h minus a, correct? Which is as good as writing f of a plus h minus f of a over a plus h minus h will be a. So here h is approaching 0, it is not 0, it is very close to 0, right? So when h is very close to 0, we will neglect the terms like h square and all because they are going to be very, very small, okay? So and so that's how we will get a simplified expression from where we can find the value of a. Now since they want instantaneous rate of change equal to 0, we will put 0 here, right? And that's the instantaneous rate of change, right? Change in y value divided by change in x value okay of the function okay now here what is what is f of a plus h that means we'll replace x with a plus h here right so we get here a plus h whole square minus 3 this is my f of a plus h right minus f of a is i'll plug in a here right so i get a square minus 3 correct so and this thing is divided by h correct so let me divide this by h. This is how it is. And now we can expand this. So a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? So we'll use that and then expand this. So if we do so, we get a square plus 2a h plus h square minus 3 minus a square minus 3, right? Over h. And this is equal to, from here we can say if a square minus a square is 0. So let me just strike this out and minus 3 and minus 3 will be 0. So we are left with these terms, right? So we are left with 2ah plus h square over h, correct? Now since h square is very small, we can neglect it, right? Because h is very, very small is close to zero. Think a term like point zero zero one and if it is point zero zero one square then it will be what? Right? Ten to the power minus six, which is very small. So we can neglect this. So we get approximately equals to two A H over H. Is it okay? Which is equal to zero, right? So two A H over H and H and H will cancel and so we get this is equals to two A. So from here we get 0 equals to 2a. So what is the value of a? That means 
a equals to 0 divided by 2. So a is also equal to 0, correct? So that means at point a equals to 0, we have instantaneous rate of change as 0. Do you understand? And that's what we expected. This is this is the x-axis, right? And that's the y-axis, correct? So at a, so the point is, the a point, the x value is a, and a should be 0. That's what we concluded here, right? So the point at which the x value at which the instantaneous rate of change is 0 is x equals to 0, right? And if x is 0, then what is y? So we'll just plug in here as the y value will be, we'll say a is 0, but y is equals to 0 square minus 3, which is minus 3, right? So therefore, at 0 minus 3, instantaneous rate of change change is equal to 0, okay? So that's how we do it. So let's review this, right? So we assume let there be a point A, x equals to A, right? This is at x equals to a that we expect instantaneous rate of change to be zero so we we that a was any general point so we considered another point h away from it very very close to a right that's how you get a tangent from secant correct that's the basic definition and when you do a difference of quotient you get the instantaneous rate of change so that's the difference of quotient and then you plug in A, expand the term, simplify, and get your answer. That's how it is, okay? I hope you understand. Thank you.